Here's the second video following on from the 4G LTE modem installation video previously recorded. Uh, I've just powered the unit up. Now I'm checking the network service. So we can see there EE no service. This is because I'm in my office uh, and I'm not really getting good reception inside the building. Thinking back, I used to have an EE SIM or EE phone contract, should I say, uh, with uh, previous employment, and I often had to take calls outside the office because they would drop. So just checking on um, the actual Sierra application here, uh, I can see that it's recognised um, the network, which is either orange or TT for EE, and there is actually one little red dash. It's, it's really hard to see on the screen there, but it, it does have very weak signal so here's the coverage for 4G X marks more location and this is 3G so now I've got the unit outside just quickly set the camera up on the tripod and we've got three bars we connected and receiving 3G can see at the bottom here HSPA at the moment so that is for the unit directly on the floor so um, where did we install the antennas there's one down here and then a big silly one at the top here What I might do is just hold the unit up, see if it makes any difference. Flick to 4G. Sorry about that, the camera flicked out the tripod. But when I pick the unit up, I'm now getting 4G um, and then it's flicked onto LTE on the network.
So now I just want to review the second set of GPS data. So this is the raw data, point number and started from 200. So that's 200 there. This um, figure of the clock with the topo man, that is a measurement. So as we go down, this one's just a correction from the VRS. So we've got 200 to 202, 203 to 209. And then if we go back up, we've got fixed all the way down to um, 208, which was um, was float. And that wasn't to do the network. I was actually stood for the 10 minutes watching this. And it was to, the, to, to do with the GPS data. So... Um, yeah, my back garden again is not ideal for GPS data. I'm quite close to the building, and there's trees, so it's what what I'd normally expect if I was testing some Topcon equipment. So a Topcon field control or the Topcon um, high presser, you know, I'd expect this to be honest here. Um, let's have a look at the time date stamp. Already looking good. So the the dates corrected, times corrected. And then if we ignore this one, we've got a measurement, four, five, six minutes in, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ignore that one, two, and then twelve. The reason I say ignore that one is because that was just, um... oh no, I'll tell you what happened is, played about with the setting so that's why it changed to standalone um, so I don't know actually that what that actually means for the solution type standalone I'm not sure so there we have it um, so in conclusion uh, I would say the testing at this point is inconclusive uh, being stood next to the field controller while I was capturing these auto topo points, I did notice the RTK age in one particular instance did roll up to something like 30 seconds. Now, I don't know whether that was to do uh, with, with the network, with this modification we've done. Um, I couldn't really tell. Um, when I say to do with the network, I don't know if there was an issue with the correction service at that point or whether um the the cellular connection here was too weak i mean i did have it laid on the trampoline edge um flat and it wasn't vertical so yeah i don't know whether that would have made a difference um i mean ideally the best way to test it would be uh to have it side by side with another hyper sr uh gps antenna and uh, a, a topcon field controller and just seeing how they perform uh, but yeah maybe another test for another day but it's, it's just difficult at the moment with uh, current circumstances you know can't really get out and test it in areas that i know are good um and unfortunately i'm testing it in an area that i know is is a little bit problematic but yeah on the whole i mean you know, it's cost me probably 40 pound to do this upgrade uh whereas if i sent it to, to g tech it would have cost 600 at the end of the day you want reliable kit especially if this is out in the field and you're surveying with it so maybe that's the next test thanks for watching